Hi everyone, welcome to the Youth Climate Summit. I am so glad to see that there are so many young people here and I'm really glad to be here with you. My name's Pangea Finn. I'm the founder of a nonprofit called the Orangutan Gang, which focuses on saving orangutans in Southeast Asia from threats to their habitat. Like all of you, I'm an advocate for change. I'm a 15 year old early college student at Boise State University, majoring in math, physics, and piano performance. In my free time, I enjoy working on my nonprofit, doing crafts, and spending time with my cats. I'm a graduate of the Davidson Young Scholar Ambassador Program in 2019 and a member of the North American Association for Environmental Education's EE 30 Under 30 Class of 2019 in recognition of my conservation work on my nonprofit, the Orangutan Gang. Orangutans are a type of primate, specifically a type of great ape. They're actually not monkeys. They're great apes along with chimpanzees, bonobos, gorillas, and humans. Orangutans share 97% of our human DNA and they are second only to humans in terms of learning and problem solving abilities, according to a 2006 study by Diener. Orangutans are also the largest tree living animal in the world. They live on the islands of Sumatra and Borneo entirely in dense rainforest. Orangutans are critically endangered for a number of reasons, including logging, habitat loss, and poaching. Orangutans have a mostly vegetarian diet. They eat leaves, fruit, honey, bark, insects, and some Sumatran orangutans eat slow lorises, which is a type of primate related to bush babies and lemurs. Orangutans also build sleeping nests high in the trees to sleep in every night. They usually build a new sleeping nest every night. Sometimes they will reuse an old one with added branches, and sometimes they will build two in a day so that they can take a nap. Orangutans are mostly solitary animals, with the notable exception of parenting. Orangutan mothers spend up to 10 years with their babies, a close relationship rivaling the closeness of human parenting relationships. This is probably because orangutan babies have so much to learn about staying alive in the wild. Orangutans use tools for many purposes, including retrieving food, warding off insects, and protecting themselves from rain. They also display signs of culture. For example, some orangutan populations display behaviors that are absent in other populations, according to a study by Van Schaik. Orangutans live in dense, biodiverse rainforest on two islands in Southeast Asia, in the countries of Indonesia and Malaysia. This rainforest is so biodiverse that over 15% of the world's bird, reptile, and amphibian species live there. Orangutans spend almost all of their time in trees, 95%. In fact, the newly discovered Tapanoli orangutan has not yet been observed to come down to the ground. However, this rainforest is under threat from various sources, including logging, paper and pulp plantations, and most significantly, palm oil. Palm oil is derived from the fruit of the oil palm tree, which is mainly grown on large plantations in Southeast Asia, in some of the same areas where orangutans live. Palm oil is a very common ingredient in household products. Palm oil is so widely used by manufacturers for a number of reasons. First, it's cheap. Because most palm oil is grown overseas in Indonesia and Malaysia, it's easy to get for a low price. Second, it's healthy. Palm oil is free of artificial trans fats, which are banned in the US, making it a good alternative over other oils that contain those trans fats. Third, it's useful. Many palm oil derivatives can be used for various purposes, including as cleaning agents and emulsifiers. Fourth, it's tropical. Palm oil grows well in Indonesia and Malaysia because it's suited to a tropical climate. And fifth, it's efficient, meaning that a given area of oil palm trees produces a lot more oil than similar oil producing crops. However, there are also a number of reasons why palm oil is a terrible crop. First, it contributes to deforestation when rainforests are destroyed in order to make room for palm oil plantations. Second, it contributes to climate change. When these rainforests are burned, they release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, contributing to global warming. Third, palm oil plantations are notorious for human rights abuses. Fourth, they provide an environment for poachers to contribute to the pet trade with affected species like orangutans. And fifth, Palm oil is actually bad for your heart because it contains saturated fats. Palm oil is an ingredient in many household products, including milk, snack food, chocolate, pet food, biodiesel, toothpaste, and shampoo. The products you see in front of me are all palm oil free or sustainable. Palm oil is an ingredient in over 50% of grocery store products, meaning that this rainforest destruction, which amounts to over 300 football fields destroyed per hour in Indonesia alone, has devastatingly become a part of your daily life. Palm oil is a destructive ingredient which destroys rainforest in Southeast Asia, home to orangutans and many other affected species. Palm oil can be found in products such as packaged foods, dairy, chocolate, bread, candy, desserts, soap, deodorant, 
hair care, cosmetics, toothpaste, detergent, cleaning products, pet food, and biodiesel. Many companies use the names of palm oil derivatives instead of palm oil itself in their products to disguise that their products contain palm oil. In order to figure out what products have palm oil derivatives in them, you need to memorize six main words. Palm, like, ole, steer, lower, and cedal. These six words are present in almost all palm oil derivatives. This is, this is an example of an ingredients list with many palm oil derivatives, including palm oil, palm, glycerin, glyc, distilled monoglycerides, glyc, hydrogenated palm kernel oil, palm, sodium stearyolactylate, steer, and vitamin A palmitate, palm. Several certification programs exist to give consumers information about how companies are using palm oil. The first is Green Palm. This certification program says that companies are working towards using sustainable palm oil by a given deadline, so they are clearly not using entirely sustainable palm oil yet. A second is RSPO certification, Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil Certification, which means that a company is using palm oil that was not involved in the destruction of any primary or high conservation value rainforest, a step in the right direction. The last is Puff Cap. Palm Oil Free Certification Accreditation Program, which means that the product or company is entirely palm oil free. Companies can be impacted by consumers who want to know their palm oil policies. For instance, several years ago, Iceland Foods changed their palm oil policy to include no palm oil in any of their own brand products. Contacting companies is not as hard as you might think. Companies usually have customer service or contact forms on their websites. One example of this is the story of Maddie Vorva, a Girl Scout who campaigned to get unsustainable palm oil removed from Girl Scout cookies. After eight years of campaigning and pressuring Girl Scout cookies to make the change, Kellogg's adopted a sustainable palm oil policy and became a leader in the industry. You can also contact companies by using the company form letter on our website. Another way to make a difference is by raising awareness. You can raise awareness through info booths, speeches, social media, just telling your friends or sharing this video among your friend group on Facebook or Instagram. When you raise awareness, you educate people about the palm oil issue that didn't know a lot about it beforehand. Those people then can then spread the word and educate other people about the palm oil issue, making educated communities about palm oil. You can also make a difference through couch conservation. Couch conservation consists of small, one-time or two-time actions which can have a bigger impact than you first realize. Examples include changing your shopping list to include less palm oil containing products, educating your friends about the palm oil issue, or using our company contact form letter to contact a company and teach them about palm oil. You might ask, why is it so important to spread the word and educate other people about the palm oil issue? The answer is that many of the other ways to combat the palm oil issue, like contacting companies or boycotting palm oil containing products, work only if large numbers of people adapt that behavior. You can create those large numbers of people by spreading the word and educating others. The more people you tell about the palm oil issue, the more change we'll create and the more we'll be able to fight the palm oil issue. There are many small, easy ways by which you can spread the word and educate other people about the palm oil issue. One is by contacting your friends and telling them about the palm oil issue and how they can make a difference. One of the most effective ways to raise awareness about the palm oil issue is in the classroom. You can tell your peers about the palm oil issue and encourage your teachers to use one of the orangutan gang's palm oil lesson plans. We put out a new one this year specifically geared towards online learning, which uses fillable worksheets, online research, educational videos, and interactive discussions to teach students about palm oil, orangutans, and how to build your own conservation projects. We all need to remember that the environment and its problems are everyone's problems. Not just one country, not just one person, not just one group of people. Everyone needs to work together to save the environment. Young people and old people, parents and teachers and students and people from the US like me and people from the UK like all of you. We all need to be working together to help save our planet before it's too late. Like you, I hear people say that young people are the future heroes of conservation. But you don't have to worry about being a future hero when you can start right now. I started working on palm oil conservation when I was only eight. You can step forward today to raise support for endangered species, our environment, and the planet as a whole. So go out and start working.